always follow your passion. You know, when you follow your passion, you wake up with a great energy and you learn all the time and you develop and then things happen and there are ups and downs, you know, but you go through the difficulties with a better energy and you don't focus on the difficulty because you're, fo you, you know, you're, you're following your passion. Now, the thing with passion is passion changes in life. And that's why I had a few changes in my career as well. And I really believe that whenever your passion change, changes, you, you just, need to to change with it and it doesn't mean that you throw all what you've learned in the past or, or that you leave everything behind you all those tools and experiences that you've had and learned when you were following a certain passion are now the the base for the success in following the the new passion it's sort of like whenever a door is open and there's a new passion in place you just go in smile take the risk and and yeah Number two is set goals. Years ago, I had a conversation, I, I was in, in a certain place and um, I heard this conversation between a bunch of people at the age of 70s or whatever and they were talking about how they regret they didn't do this and they didn't do that and I thought to myself, I don't want to get to my 70s regretting that I haven't achieved this or that. So. That's why I'm setting goals. I always set goals ahead. I know where I want to be in five, ten years and, 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 and develop and achieve. And if I don't achieve exactly what I said, it doesn't really matter. But I'm aware of what I want to achieve and I'm living the life that I want. Please step out of your comfort zone. Yes, routine is important and I do have my own routine, but when you are taking the courage and you're stepping out of your comfort zone, then you grow and you learn and you experience and you learn that actually failure doesn't exist. You know, from everything that happens, you, you just learn and, and, and you, move on, you move on from it. Number four is never look back. Now, this is how I see life. In every moment, we have decisions to make. Let's assume now I can decide to go to my right, go to the left, straight forward, go back for, backwards, um, stay in my position, or make a decision not to make a decision. Even that is a decision, right? No matter which course I will take, I will never, ever, ever be able to know what would have happened if I'd taken a different way. So let's assume I go to the right, and now the point is to fail fast. So rather than saying, all right, I've made a decision to do this, and I'll do it till the end, I just start, and then I examine myself and make corrections if there needs to be corrections. But I never, ever, ever look back in regret. Fifth one is listen and change. Now, this is sometimes very difficult, but um, because we know what we want to do and we think that we are right, but I've learned and I've made many mistakes that caused me to learn that and it has taken me a long way to learn that, that there is feedback all around us all the time. I mean, if only we just stop, and listen and so I'm listening to my clients and I'm changing my products according to their needs or I'm changing the way I interact with them according to to their feedback it's not easy at the beginning but once you you know once it's become part of, of your life it's actually a great support for success number six is don't let other people to take you down with their attitudes. Now, Afros, we spoke about it in our first meeting, if you remember, I said to you, I often feel that I start from minus. Remember when I said it to you? Men, especially those with European background, are often, often it feels as if they start from 100%. They start at the top, they are giving the, the trust and now it's up to them to, you know, not to fail and to go down. 
Females start from zero. Now it's generalization, but often they start from zero. They need to prove that they can be there. But I have a weird name. I have a weird in, in, um, accent. And often I feel that I start from minus. I'll give you two examples. When I was looking for my first HR positions in Australia, I had an amazing interview with a recruiter and he said to me, you are exactly, exactly what this CEO is looking. Um, the only thing I can't forward your resume with this name, I think we should change it. And I said to him, you know, a CEO that wouldn't want to meet with me because of my name is not a cultural match anyway. Thank you, but no, thank you. And then I spoke with another recruiter in the HR and I spoke with her on the phone and she basically said to me frankly that HR profession is for Australians only and she will never be able to help me and she dropped um, the phone, um, closed the call on me. So it's the, the, the feeling that, you know, the, the, I start from minus and I just don't let it affect me at all. Zero ego. So I need to prove myself, I'll prove myself. So number seven is always aspire for diversity of thinking. It's easier, easier to communicate, obviously, with people that are like us. You know, they are the same age as us, they think the same as, as us, so there's no conflict. They tell us what we want to hear. But the truth is that in every given situation, diverse people, people with true diversity will see the situation differently. And there is so much to learn from everyone. And when I speak about diversity, it's not only gender. Gender is important, but different culture, different ages, different experiences, different careers, different academic knowledge, all those are very important to really reach a good and solid decision. Number eight is help others. Since the day I remember myself, I always volunteered. You know, when there were new kids with Russian kids coming to Israel and I was a teenager, I volunteered to teach them Hebrew. Um, when I came, you know, all my life I volunteered. I volunteered in the parents' association at the school, the school council, non-for-profit boards. I mentor founders volunteering. I believe that when you volunteer, you gain a lot and you meet with people that normally in other circumstances you wouldn't have met. Um, and you, basically, it's, I gain a lot both from the giving and from what I get from the volunteering. Nine, take care for your, of yourself. Um, religiously, I do Pilates three, four times a week. Yes, I'm a mom and yes, I'm a businesswoman and a founder, but even when I was an executive in global companies, would always find the time to um, exercise a bit, meditate, read, at least 15 minutes a day, just reading, taking the time for myself. It's not all about work, cooking, cleaning, and uh, you, you know, you have to have the time for yourself. Time for myself, waking up at seven o'clock, I'm already on the reformer for an hour. I, I'm energized. I know that I've, you know, I had time to breathe and now I can open my day in a different way. When I meditate, I am energized afterwards. When I read a book, um, I just gain a lot. It's like, it's relaxing. It's my time for myself is not less important than my time for others. Rule number 10, try to be positive. There's a saying I always did, this great song, always look at the bright side of life. I believe in this. Now, it's not always easy, but if you surround yourself with people that are passionate and positive, it's easier. When, when time are tough, and there's plenty of time like that through the journey of life, um, what I try to do is to think consciously, like I have to stop myself from feeling sorry for myself, and consciously 
think about what I do have, you know, gratitude, because, you know, at the end of the day, we are healthy, that's the most important, all the rest will, will, will be okay, all the rest will, will be okay, so if I'm down, and when I'm down, and it's normal, and everyone has those burnt out times, and or tired, or whatever, I just breathe and think, all right, but what do I have? I have amazing husband, I have amazing kids. Thank God we are healthy. Um, I've achieved academically much, much, much more than I have ever thought that I would, especially as a teenager. Um, you know, I'm owning my own career. I have, I live in a house that is better than what I thought that I've ever have. You know, just reminding yourself, all the good that is around you, put things in the right proportion and helps you to, to be positive again.